hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. You can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. You can also head over to the server side where I'm the editor. And I want to talk to you right now about doing a shallow Git clone. And specifically, I want to just clone a repository and only grab five of the many commits. Well, if you want to do something similar, here's how you do it. So as you can see, I've got my GitLab repository here. And if I take a look at the master branch, you can see there is a long, long history of commits. There's the master branch right there. You'll also notice that uh, you know the develop branch is quite a few, the release branch is quite a few, uh, the hotfix branch doesn't have too many, but there is really a rich history of commits here. And let's say I'm doing continuous integration. I just wanna pull the latest code, do a build, and uh, report whether, whether or not the build was good or not. I don't need the whole history, I just need the latest source code. In that case, you can you know specify a depth. In that case, you probably specify a depth of one. Here, just to, to be fun, I'm gonna see if I can pull in the last five commits. So how do you do that? Well, first you need the repository URL. So you can get that on GitHub, GitLab. Just look at your Bitbucket. Just look at the repository. The, there's a clone button there, copy code button or something. You get the HTTP URL. And then you open up a terminal window and you say git clone and you specify the depth. I'm going to say I'm going to have a depth of five. And after that, you just specify the URL. It'll clone. I need to provide my credentials. And all of a sudden, you know, we've got a cloning with a depth of five. I'm going to move into that directory, get a lab made easy. Looks like all the files are there, master.html. So I am on the master branch. You can see that from a git status command. I'm on the master branch. The other thing that's interesting is that if you do a git branch all, you notice that I haven't actually brought down a reference to the other three branches, right? I'm doing git flow here. So I have a hotfix branch, I have a develop branch, and I have a release branch. But none of those were brought down, and it only brought down the master. Now you can't specify the branch. You could say, you know, dash dash branch, and then specify that you want um, the develop branch. But the point is, when you do this, this shallow clone, you're only getting the branch you specify by default master and the number of commits that you specified. Well, I'm even taking a look at that. So let's do a git log. Let's make it look like the ref log. And there you go, count the commits. One, two, three, four, five. We wouldn't get that if we did a if we did a normal git clone. So I'm gonna move out of here and I'm gonna do that git clone again. I am gonna specify a directory, so fully completely. A little shout out to the tragic hip there. And I'm gonna remove this depth because I just wanna to prove to you that you know if you don't do that, if you don't do the depth thing, you'll get all of the branches and you'll get the entire history. So ls command cd fully completely so now i'm in the fully completely branch if i do a git branch dash a dash all notice i get all four of the branches i didn't get that before so if i did a, that before you saw, see i only got the master branch and also i'm on the master so git status you can see i'm on the master if i actually look for the git log this will go on forever. Okay, maybe not forever, but it certainly went on for more than five commits. So anyways, there you go. That's how you do a shallow git clone. And that's how you do a shallow git clone. By the way, if you're interested in more git, GitHub, server-side tutorials, methodologies, what have you, head over to the serverside.com, the editor-in-chief over there. So we've got lots of tutorials and information. And uh, if you want to follow along with my antics, follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ.